players. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Dane Wimmer from Zen Dude Fitness and today I'm going to show you how to do the jump rope side swipe. Now, we've been getting asked for a long time how to do the side swipe, so this is very overdue. Thank you again for your patience, guys. Uh, we really appreciate it when we're trying to get all these videos out. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you want to receive more free weekly workouts and tutorials and just how to, you know, look awesome and have fun with the jump rope, baby. That's the name of the game. If you guys want the rope that we use in this video, check it out. Links below. Cross rope are the best, most durable ropes on the market so you should get yourself one. Keep all the positivity, keep believing in yourselves, keep being consistent and most of all keep doing the thing. All right ladies and gentlemen so what we're going to start off with is regular bounce fundamentals. Before doing the side swipe we want to make sure our feet are not coming more than an inch or, inch or two off the ground, our knees are bent, elbows are in, hands are judge, jutting out excuse me from the sides of the hips and everything is being controlled by our forearms and our wrist. Again, as I always say, less is more when jumping rope. Look at the motion I'm in in regular bounce. Very, very controlled, very, very compact. Okay, so always remember guys, when you're doing any jump rope move, the importance of just regular bounce. So make sure that you have that down first. Next one I wanna talk about is side swipe without jumping, guys. So all we're gonna be doing is swinging the rope back and forth, back and forth. Now notice a few things here. My dominant hand is my right hand, is, and that is what is called the anchor. If you notice, that stays underneath. If I, if it, as I go into slow motion here, you can see, my right hand just stays as the anchor, as my left hand is the one swinging the rope back and forth. But if you'll notice, guys, it's a very basic move. All I'm doing is swinging my right wrist to my left side, and when the rope comes around, I'm just easily going back to my left side. Very good, guys. Next up, side swipes and jumping. So we're gonna do the same thing we just did, except we're just gonna jump like we would. Um, so it's not, the rope is at this point not coming under our feet. The only thing we're practicing is using the right arm or your dominant arm as the anchor, and then having the other arm kind of guide the rope around from back from right to left, right to left. Now notice my left hand, that's what's staying over top every time I side swipe. Doesn't matter if it's on the right or the left side, that left hand is con control is coming over the top. Good guys, next up what I want you to do is get familiar with just doing regular bounce and then one side swipe. So if you'll watch me here, I'm just doing a regular bounce for a few sequences and then boom, putting my wrist over to the right and coming back to the left and that's doing just one side swipe. Now one thing I wanna mention with you guys is there's not a whole lot of movement involved in the side swipe. So keep that rhythm of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, um, but just remember all we're doing is slightly moving that arm from the right side over to the left. Not a whole lot of movement required. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so in putting this all together, you'll notice as well, if you see that line on the back wall there, when I'm doing the side swipe, my hands do not come up or come down. They simply go from right to left in a very horizontal line, okay? so. What can happen is if you're too high, you can catch your feet, and if you're too low, there's too much rope, which can also slow down the rope and catch your feet as well. So when practicing this, guys, this is a move like any other that you just have to work on for a while before you can get it down. But the biggest thing you wanna focus on here is those wrists and just bringing the rope from right to left. So you're going from right back to left before you open the rope back up. And remember, guys, use that dominant hand as an anchor as the other hand is focused on swinging everything around. Good guys, keep keep up the practice. And you know, Brandon and I are in uh, on, on YouTube, excuse me, every single day. So if you have questions about this move, go ahead and ask them. Like I said, it's gonna take a lot of practice like anything else will, but it's one of those moves that once you do it enough, you will start to get the rhythm for it and get it down. Notice here how I'm doing it uh, with a little bit of running in place. And then I have one last advanced variation I wanted to show you guys where you're doing a side swipe really fast and then coming underneath yourself one time. So it's almost like there's a person standing on either side of you and you're helping them jump rope as well. So I'm coming from my right to my left and back underneath. If you like this video, could you give us a subscribe? Cause it helps get more of these videos to other people so they can learn to jump rope, don't you know?